Welcome to the channel everybody. I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time, almost since starting my radiology residency, and that is to finally have my home radiologist desk set up and I am super excited to share with you what I've done on my previous desk setup video which was last year about this time and I'll post the link up here. I'll kind of go through each component and tell you a little bit about it, why I used it, all that kind of stuff and I'll put the details and the link to all that stuff in the description box so you can go check out some of this stuff if you want as well. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into my radiologist desk setup. Let's go. All right, so first and foremost, I guess I'll start with the actual desk itself. I went with the L-shaped desk from Autonomous. The reason I went with this is because I had a vision. I wanted to have my radiologist set up right here and also have my current monitor and laptop set up on the right side so that when I'm working, I can just read here and either look things up on the side or whatever. And I think this L-shaped desk from Autonomous, not sponsored by the way, I think this actually does the job. It provides a perfect amount of space and really kind of works perfectly with this setup. There's no real gap between the monitor, which is what I really wanted. It works perfectly. And it's a standing desk, so I can go up as high as I want or down as low as I want as well. So for that reason, you can't really beat it. I often spend like, you know, 16 hour days sitting at this desk reading studies. And sometimes I just wanna stand up and read from there. And a lot of you all probably don't know why I even have this setup, so I'll go ahead and tell you that. So I'm a private practice interventional radiologist and occasionally I read from home. And what I mean by reading from home is x-rays, MRIs, CT scans, ultrasounds, all that stuff. I can actually read from all the different hospitals I work for and I can read it on one central system using a VPN and encrypted server and all that stuff. So I guess we'll start with the monitors here. So I have two 27 inch Acer widescreen monitors. I think these are actually gaming monitors. They're like VG400, I can't remember. I'll put the link in the description as I can never remember that. And these aren't that expensive, but they are gaming monitors. So they're actually pretty good monitors. The main front and center monitor I have here is the Dell 32 inch super high def monitor. It is a really good monitor and it has to be a good monitor because I'm reading very high quality images that I have to be able to see everything on these monitors. So this monitor is not as expensive as like like the $15,000 monitors I use at the hospital, but this one's gonna run me at least 2,000 or so. Luckily, my company provided all this for me, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you're in the market, this is actually a really good monitor, and before I set this thing up with my new desk, I was using my laptop off of this monitor, and it was actually pretty good. In fact, I took my board exam on this monitor alone yesterday morning from home, because that's what we're doing now, and it works out pretty well. It's a super high def monitor, like I keep saying. I don't know why I keep saying super high def, because that's the only technological term I know, but it's a good monitor is what I'm trying to say. It also has some USB charging ports on it, which I like too. You can charge your phone while you're reading studies or whatnot, but I don't have to worry about that because I have so many outlets in here. So yeah. So those are the monitors. Obviously it's powered by this huge desktop box. This thing weighs like 50 pounds, not even lying. This thing is so heavy under here. And before you comment about the cable management, I know I literally just set this up, finished my board exam yesterday, set this whole desk up and lifted it through the computer in there, make sure everything was working properly. And I need to organize the wires a little bit better, obviously, because it's like a bird's nest under there. I'll see what I can do. But I don't like these monitor wires hanging about. And also what I forgot to mention is the two monitors on the right are on the all white Vivo monitor arms, which means you can swivel them back and forth if you need to, put them whatever direction you want, tilt them, turn them. And uh, I like that because they're kind of like floating. You can move around underneath and it kind of clears up desk space. I don't have one for this monitor yet, but I don't know if I'm going to put one on this one because I kind of like being able to just move it up and down like this. This is how all radiology monitors are and I like this setup a little bit so I'll probably keep that. Behind that you see a little black box over there that is the internet. Can't do much about that. The radiology system here has to be set up directly and have a direct connection via ethernet cable into the modem. So I have to have that here. It's just one of those things you have to do when reading from home. You can't have any errors, you can't have any network issues and all that stuff. So have to have that there, which is kind of annoying because it's a big eyesore, but what can you do? Next we have the basic Dell keyboard. I don't even, oh, it's Logitech, it's not even Dell. It's a Logitech keyboard. I don't know what model this is. They just provided it for me and that's what I use. Then we have the speech mic. This is what I dictate all of my images when I'm making my reports, when I'm reading studies. Dictate here. I usually have the list 
of all the studies I have to read on this screen. This is where I read all the x-rays and MRIs and all that stuff. And then over here is where I have the dictation where my report is actually being dictated. And then of course I have my favorite gaming mouse. I did an entire video on this mouse link up here in why I love it so much for radiology. I love it so much that I actually keep one at work and I bought this one as a second one to keep here when I'm reading from home. That's how much I love it. So that's pretty much my radiology desk setup. Now I guess we'll go to this side and look at what I have going on over here. So you may remember from last time I have this IQ Nix. I think it's the F96 mechanical keyboard. Love this thing. It's wireless, it's heavy duty. This thing is a beast to knock somebody out if you hit them with it. I have a link in my description on that as well. Love them, great people, great company. Love their keyboards, love their products. Next, I have the Logitech. I think this is the MX Master 3 mouse and it has the side wheel scroll, which I love so much, especially when you're editing videos, you can just scroll down and edit pretty quickly with that. Obviously, I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro powering this whole section. From here over is powered by the desktop, but this monitor is and everything else is powered by the MacBook Pro. And I have that one connected underneath to this which is a little SD card reader, three USB ports on the back, an HDMI port and a USB-C port as well. Have that connected underneath, go into that gray port, which is super easy. And then I have this 34 inch widescreen LG monitor. This monitor is connected to that MacBook Pro via one cable, one USB-C cable. That's all you need for that. And it charges the MacBook as well while it's running. I always say this monitor is a 100% game changer for me. Ever since I got this monitor last year, it's like changed my my life. Having a widescreen and having here look, being able to pull up like one thing over here and then say you want to pull up like an Excel spreadsheet on the other side. I mean, this this makes productivity so much better having a widescreen monitor. If you're ever even questioning yourself, just get this monitor, it's, it's so worth it. And this monitor is also on one of those Vivo monitor arms as well. So it's kind of floating, you can do whatever you want. It really frees up the desk space over here. The one issue I have with this monitor is, I don't know if you can see, but I actually hit this monitor with my iPad. I was moving my iPad and it just ever so slightly hit this corner of my screen and this whole thing is cracked there and along the horizontal side too. So this vertical crack, horizontal crack, all along the edges drives me insane. And now I have to get another one. And just so happens to be this was right outside of the year after I purchased it. So it's no longer in that year warranty period, which is fantastic. So I'll have to drop another $800 and get another monitor. Sweet. And underneath this Hollywood sign, we have the 12 South book arc for my MacBook. This is what the MacBook sits on and I can just literally disconnect those two cables, grab my laptop and go whenever I need it. That's why I love this whole setup. It's super easy. It runs this whole system and I can just grab my laptop and go whenever I need, no questions asked. Everybody always asks about that Dr. Mike Hollywood Cellini sign. And the thing behind that, I was given this as a gift just to have on my desk. So ever since I started med school, I think, my mom's husband got me that because he thinks I'm high maintenance as like a joke. So he calls me Hollywood and I keep it on my desk because it's funny. I have my iPad right here. This is what I watch CNBC with all the time while I'm sitting either at work or just here editing. And I forgot to show you my main thing, why I love having this monitor next to my radiology workstation, because I can be dictating studies right here and just turn to my right and I have all of my stocks that I can just watch all day. I have CNBC on the iPad and I can just sit here and work from home, watch the stock market, do my work. It's like, the best thing ever because I do this on my days off anyways during the week so might as well work and also do the same thing as well. I'm obviously joking a little bit because I'm not going to have this up all the time. It is a distraction so like when I'm really studying really busy I, I don't look at this stuff but the main reason I love it so much is because I can use it for doodling and I don't have to really turn that much. There are a lot of restrictions on my Google browser from the hospital network so if I want to browse something even if it's medically related sometimes I can't look at it on this computer so I can look at it on this one and have a you know whatever I want MRI anatomy MRI whatever the heck I want I can just have on this computer and it's just a seamless transition makes my workflow so much better. Other than that, we have a trophy in the back corner. 
That's when I finished fellowship. You can't really see it. It's like this huge glass trophy. It weighs like eight bajillion pounds. And I have my orchid. You can't see that either. It's not dead yet. It's behind this monitor. I'm still keeping it. I don't know where it looks good in this environment, but I'm still keeping it. And uh, yeah, I like it. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention was the lights and I'll show you them right now. So I have two big Philips Hue lights on the back of this monitor and the back of this monitor, which I can kind of change whatever setting I want and whatever mood I'm in. So let me turn this light down and I just kind of adjust these based off of my mood essentially. So I'm really feeling this Tokyo theme lately. Gives it a super cool vibe. It's late at night. I just want something nice. Let me even turn this down lower. So you know, it's not it's not that bad. It's a nice view. It's a nice ambient light that I can change on a whim. This is the Philips Hue light bulbs. I love this app. Or maybe I want a Sunday morning. I just go straight to here. Or maybe I want a little ocean vibe. I go here. Lake Mist, anybody? Or I can even go to Honolulu or I can party in Ibiza. So that's that. So I think that, oh, I forgot my chair. The chair is unchanged. It is this uh, leather chair I got from Wayfair. I'll put the link in my description as well. But otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. I have my 100,000 YouTube subscriber and my favorite piece of art by shout out Laz City. But did you have fun? It's made out of pills. Love it. Keep that in the corner as well. And you'll be able to see it when I film from this angle over here. But other than that, that pretty much, uh, concludes this desk setup, desk tour, whatever you want to call it. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And again, I'll put everything in the link in my description so you have access to all this stuff if you want any of it. I think that's pretty much it. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already, follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.